16. How many of you have been to MFF? How many of you have been to MFF in a suit? You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The lighting? Yeah. So this was before I got used to Sherbert. I, I, I had never worn Sherbert. Um, you know, for any length of time. I, I put them on only for the unboxing video. And yeah, I mean, if you look at his eyes, he's got Terminator vision. <laughs> it's just like everything is red. And because the eyes are coated with plastic and cellophane, all the light reflects. So MFF is like, the lighting is spaced really weird. So you'll walk and suddenly you're blinded and then suddenly everything goes dark. And um, there was one con video that Sherbert appeared in. And it's, you see Sherbert running through one of the rooms. And then five seconds later, you see my handler running after me, screaming my name. <laughs> oh, uh, what, what was your, who was your handler? Back then, it was uh, Maze. I don't know if you know Maze. Maze. Sounded like a cranky old lady? No, British. Okay, the wrong person. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm thinking about one of the bits you did. Oh God, yeah. The uh, yeah. You mean the one where we went to the what was it? The the Ninja Bunny Con. Is that the one with the old lady in the in the hover round chasing me around? Yeah, and, and you would see you run across the screen, and then the other person would be. Chasing She's like you. half my age. I put a wig on her. <laughs> the old lady. I don't think she's ever going to live that down. She's now the, officially the old lady forever. <laughs> the old lady. The old lady. The. Oh, yes. Um, so yeah, MFF was, was a very eye-opening experience. I was immediately like, you know, what am I going to do? How am I going to wear this suit? And it's interesting because K-Line originally says like, oh, you should only wear these for photos. And I'm like, okay, come on. Nobody, nobody buys a fursuit that you just take photos in and then, you know, put it away. Like, I'm gonna do stuff. I'm gonna cause chaos. So, chaos <laughs> um, chaos so the first thing we tried. Oh, there was a there was a, a kind of a bad incident um, at MFF. I tripped over a handicapped person in a wheelchair, and they apologized to me. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, that, that's how I was like, okay, I gotta fix this. Um, and so the first. Uh, idea I had, and I got this from Beauty of the Base, was um, to put a closed circuit TV in the mouth and to use um, uh, FPV goggles, the kind they use for drone racing, and put that in the head. But that didn't really work because the, the signal was kind of you know staticky, and the vision was lower than my eye level, so that was disorienting, and there was lag between the feed, so it didn't work. Um, somehow I just got used to seeing everything in red. Like I know it probably gives most people a headache, but like I'm totally cool with it. Like the virtual boy. Yeah, I was about to say the virtual boy. Oh. Um. <laughs> yes, virtual boy. I think. Are you calling me a disaster? <laughs> no, I was saying the virtual boy. Yeah, yeah the virtual. I like the virtual boy. I'm not a virtual boy, I'm a virtual man! Um, so yeah, um, so in the end, uh, I put in a fan and just pretty much got used to the vision. It doesn't bother me, it's been like six years. Maybe that's why I need glasses though. I don't know. Um, but one thing I wanted to do was with Sherbert is I kind of, you know, I, I was making a YouTube channel, I was making videos, and that was all fun, but, you know, I, I really saw Sherbert as, like, something more exciting, and because of my experience in anime production, uh, I'm like, well, what if I did something really cool for my YouTube channel? What if I made these, like, anime bumpers, but actually make it as anime? Um, and so I started, I think it was, like, November of 2017, I started asking some of the studios I worked with, and we finally um, came across a studio that was willing to do it, and the studio is Zex. I don't know if you know uh, Jewel Pet, the anime with the cute, yeah? Woo, Jewel Pet! Um, they do Jewel Pet, Shadowverse, Diabolic Lovers. Um, so we started
started working on, um, I'm going to bring the slideshow up. Uh, we started working on, um, on the intro and outros uh, for the YouTube channel. And as we were doing it, I realized that, you know, th this could really make a good series. So I started developing the anime series based on Sherbert. And originally, it it wasn't what we know of it now as a uh, basically a magical girl series. It was essentially Digimon with murder. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was this. Tokyo Ghoul but plus up. Yeah, kinda. I mean, like like it wasn't just like, oh no, a person has died. It was like, oh cool, entrails. You know, like it was like it was it was like a detective like cat and mouse game, and the the creatures from. Uh, from Sherbert's world called the Kuka, who are basically corruptions of Sherbert species. Um, in the original premise, they had the ability to shapeshift into the last living thing they ate. Um, so there was a lot of like, you don't know if the person that, if the, the, the you know, your comrade or, or your friend is really one of them in disguise. Um, and it, it got really, it got really brutal because it was like they figured out that if they just eat little bits of the whatever, whoever they're trying to shapeshift into, they shapeshift for a shorter amount of time, but then they can go back and eat more of. So there was like a meat locker filled with people that they would just like change into. So yeah, it was really bad. Well, it was supposed to be for Netflix. Butcher. <laughs> it was originally for Netflix, and Netflix was like. Yeah, that's cool, but you know, Sherbert's so cute, and you know, we don't think that adults would watch it, and then the kids would probably get traumatized because they think it's for kids. And yeah. It's just like, yeah, okay, sure. Um, so that was an interesting. That that was interesting. The original. The original uh, premise, and then. Wait, wait. My curse. Oh, did we go over there? Hi. I'm back here. Hi. Where is it? There's, you know? a little, there's two little arrows in the corner. There we go. Okay. I just found it. So, when we were pitching it around, um, there were a number of companies in Japan that were interested, but not as an adult series. They were interested in it as a kid series. And that's when we pivoted to the Magical Girl uh, genre. And um, it's actually a multiverse Magical Girl series. So there's like different versions of Earth and different versions of Sherbert. Um, th there's many Sherberts, a lot of Sherberts. Um, the whole range of flavors. Oh, yeah, the Sherbert. Into the Sherbertverse. Into the Sherbertverse. Kinda. 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 To point it out, we got the best one right here. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, let's see. I will show you the anim. Stop. The anime trailer. This is the current version, and um, listen for the voices that are in it. I know you heard them in the first trailer, but. 